Sam, you were talking about rework, so I, I sort of interrupted you and said we'll talk about that in a second. What's your thought? What, what does rework mean to Sam Zell? Well, the good news is it means nothing to me. <laughs> but, uh, but, you know, but that's, that's because I'm not in the office space business. But if you look at what WeWork has done to the, and WeWork and the other co-working companies, uh, they have filled up um, all of the, or most of the office space that was vacant in the United States. Um, the, the corollary to that is that it's precipitated the construction of a whole bunch of new buildings. And those new buildings uh, were built based on the fact that WeWork uh, or mm -hmm. the, the existing supply was completed. Uh, whatever WeWork does from this point forward, uh, they're not only going to have to let off a lot of employees, I think they're going to have to shrink their footprint. And as they shrink their footprint, uh, we're going to find out how in-depth the growth in the, in the office market has been. And I wouldn't be surprised if by the time the shrinkage is complete, uh, we will have a significant hole in the office space demand. I mean, we've also, though, seen, and uh, Leon, I mean, we could bring you into this conversation here. Sure. I mean, we've also seen, though, I mean, some of the more established players, the ones who didn't really identify as tech companies and were perfectly happy, identify themselves as real estate companies, uh, sort of take a lot of share now. They've sort of convinced a lot of the bigger corporate clients that there is a market for this. If you just sort of get some, rid of some of the chaff, you still have a decent business model. I mean, do you see that as investable from your perspective, that sort of traditional model, or is it the sort of the a little bit more flowery we work type model well i think look i think sam being you know the experts in the space i look to his guidance from a real estate standpoint i will tell you a few things and chanali and i've discussed it i think we work did a very very interesting job about growing growing a global brand and there was an element of that that was important i think the co-working space is something that's here to stay. So if you go around and look at the spaces around the world, I think co-working is here to stay from that standpoint. The issue will really become valuation. You know, what are these companies worth at the end of the day? And then as Sam correctly pointed out, what happens to supply demand in the actual space as there's potential shrinkage or not? And then last but not least, you know, from my standpoint, you know, employees losing their job is a, you know, is a sad outcome of some of this. And that's very, very unfortunate. But you're, you're talking about a business where there's no barrier to entry. Mm. Uh, you know, WeWork was the start, or one of them. But if you go back to the 1950s, it started with Fijian. Fijian was the first one who did the equivalent of a co-working space. Mm -hmm. Fijian went broke. Followed by headquarters, it went broke. Followed by Regis, it went broke. Uh, followed by WeWork. It went broke. Mm. Now tell me about a model that works when every, every player in the space has gone broke. It's just a question of when. Sam, mm. you, you started to get here, but with this overgrowth, what do you think about office prices? I mean, do you think that prices are just going to collapse across New York? Um, I don't know whether prices are going to collapse. I doubt that prices are going to collapse because the real estate industry has never been healthier uh, from a financial point of view than it is today. But uh, come on, we're talking about uh, you know, Hudson Yards, we're talking about uh, Brookfield, we're talking about Steve Roth and, and Penn Central. You're talking about yesterday, Jamie Dimon announces a second building. Mm -hmm. you know, uh, the good news is he's not going to have any competition because there's going to be nobody else around him. But the bottom line is uh, you're talking about uh, enormous new supply of space. and. Except for you know co-working, which by the way, you know the restaurants in San Francisco are now doing co-working during the day. Soho Club is now doing a co-working space. Uh, there's a <laughs> hotel in Chicago that now does co-working during the day. Uh, there's no barrier to entry. You know the question is, can you buy good enough coffee? 